Welcome back. ChannelsTV.com has more information for you. You can also watch our videos on YouTube.com forward slash channels web. You can watch us live on your mobile device. All you need to do is download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS and Windows devices from their respective stores. Besides giving you access to news updates on the go, the Channels TV and 24 apps have an eyewitness feature. With it, you can share pictures, videos or news of happenings around you. All you need to do is install the app, tap and then swipe to reveal the menu and follow the instructions. Following the fresh outbreak of the Ebola virus in the Democratic Republic of Congo, air passengers in Nigeria have been assured that everything is being done to prevent the disease from spreading to the country through the airport. The Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria says that it is collaborating with four port health services to carry out thorough screening of inbound passengers, even as the federal government mulls over restraining flights from certain destinations. But currently, there is no direct commercial flight from the Democratic Republic of Congo to Nigeria, but the government may also review private charter and other flight services that might emanate from the affected countries. This is the Maritala Mohammed International Airport in Lagos. It's Nigeria's main international air gateway, amongst four others. It is from here in 2014 that an individual brought the deadly disease into the country. And now that there's a fresh outbreak in Congo, Nigeria is taking no chances so that the case of once bitten, twice shy holds. For the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, passenger screening has been revived again. Once you arrive into our airports, you walk past through, I mean, walk past the thermal scanner, it will immediately take your temperature. And once it's above the normal, the regular, you're pulled aside for further checks. Here at one of the entry points within the MMIA, passengers who make their way in have their temperatures taken on this automatic thermal scanner. Unnecessary delay in, in aviation business, you want to minimize delay. I don't want to stress travelers who have been coming from different parts of the world. If this scanner picks up a suspected temperature of any individual, it's straight to this room for further examination. If um, we think that person is a suspect, where the ambulance will be called from the legal states, there's an exit area which you are going to see that the ambulance from the passenger also can be taken to the tarmac area. The reason for this is to minimize um, contacts with other airport users. The surveillance team here is operating on a documented emergency plan that incorporates quite a number of agencies, all in a bit to ensure that what happened in 2014 doesn't happen again. We have advised the portals to check all their thermal scanner and their infrared scanners to see that they are well calibrated and they are working. And also, in the joint meeting we had, we, uh, we've all, we have also agreed on training. In fact, uh, we will train medical uh, staffs and even non-medical staff alike because we want everybody to understand the spread of disease and what they can do to protect themselves, protect their family and protect the communities. Medical personnel here add that a person could take ill on board until there's a separate isolation center on the air side to reduce contact. Federal government says it has also reactivated the emergency operation centers created during the 2014 Ebola outbreak to prepare for any confirmed cases. Uh, joining us on the program to talk about this is the head aeromedical standards at the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority, Dr. Wilfred Hagai. Thank you very much Thank for joining much. us on News Across Nigeria. Thank you. We already know that several agencies are taking precautions to ensure that the Ebola virus does not enter Nigeria again. Now tell us, where does the NCAA come in? Uh, thank you very much for having me on this program. The Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority um, is the regulatory body in the industry, aviation industry, and coordinates the efforts of uh, all agencies at the airport, especially the airlines and the other agencies of government that operate at the airport. The <clears throat> NCAA... Um, essentially issues out regulations to the industry on the handling of public health emergencies that is enshrined in our regulations uh, updated in 2015. 
The NC also coordinates and collaborates with other agencies and uh, is, is like the driving force alongside the port health services, which is actually the domain to do the screening at the airport. Work along with other agencies. Uh, the work at the airport is a multi-agency work. It cuts from port health services to Nigerian um, uh, management, um, Nigerian immigration services, custom services, and also we have um, the Nigerian Airspace Management Agency coming in, and the Federal Airport of Toronto, Nigeria. We are all working as a team to ensure that we are vigilant and also to be at, at the point of entry at all the time. Now, the NCA, um, in carrying out its functions, developed what is called the Aviation Sector Public Health Emergency Preparedness Plan. That plan is to ensure that all the airports in the country are covered. Then, for each airport, we worked along with international agencies like WHO, USCDC, and the Pro Health International, which is a Nigerian NGO, to develop what we call a Public Health Emergency Contingency Plan for each airport. Now, these plans for this Nigerian airport gives you the chain of command. Mm -hmm. It gives you the uh, SOPs, the standard operation procedure of all the airports. And it gives you how each agency will communicate with each agency during uh, an emergency of this nature. So the NCA is, in the, is working alongside with other agencies in, in trying to curtail or pro, uh, stopping, uh, preventing the entrance of any community into Nigeria. All right. So you talked about all the agencies that the NCAA is working with. Mm. Are you also working with the airlines? Because if you're restricting flights, international and regional flights, how would you ensure that the airlines make sure this happens? Thank you very much. One of the major uh, stakeholders is the airline, actually, which I didn't mention. Uh, on the 11th of May 2018, the Director General of the Nigerian Aviation Authority, Captain uh, Mukhtar Usman, issued uh, a directive to the airlines. What we know is that um, if a flight coming to Nigeria, the first point you can pick a suspected case is in the aircraft before landing. And we expect that if that is noticed by the crew members, the pilot in command is informed and he also informs the air traffic control. And if that is done, the passenger will not actually come into the terminal. The aircraft will be isolated and the passenger will be taken out from the aircraft from the air site. So that prevents entrance. So essentially, the, the, the airlines are the first point of entry into the country. So once, what we are doing now is that we are asking the airlines to train their crew on picking up these cases on board and also having on board the equipment to be used, okay. the uh, uh, precaution kits. We also have the first aid kits and also the medical kits on board. So training is essential and we do that so that this cycle is to give the airlines a guide on what to do. All right, so what about countries of a departure for regional flights? Is there some kind of collaborative efforts in the health care of victims in case it happens? Now, uh, country of departure, uh, there is um, what we call in aviation the ICAO CAPSCA, International Civil Aviation Organization uh, Collaborative Arrangement for the Prevention and Management of, of Communicable Disease in Air Transport. This has been ongoing since 2008, since the SARS regime. And that means that countries are in contact with each other. Okay. WHO also, through the National Focal Person in the Nigerian Center uh, for Disease Control in, in Abuja, is in contact with other WHO countries who are also watching out for developments in their country. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, aeromedical standards at the Nigerian Civil uh, Aviation Authority is the head there, Dr. Wilfred Hagai. Thank you for your time on News Across Nigeria. Thank you very much for having And me. when we return, in just a moment, we'll be going to Kogi State to find out how farmers there have been empowered. Stay with us. <laughs>